Hi everyone, welcome back to Funston TV. This is Mai. Today I wanted to share with you some lip swatches of the new NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipsticks. They sell them here in Montreal, Canada at the drugstore and they retail for about $12.99 or something like that. On the NYX website, they retail for $10. US and they come in 12 different shades. Now I didn't want to get all 12 shades because there's some that I know I would never never wear so I picked up three. And I think this is a great variety of shades considering the other ones that are like super dark and vampy. They have one that's close to black and one super super bright purple and I think I would never personally wear them so I got a nude, a red and a bright coral. So. I think these I would actually wear, so I thought I would share this with you. So the first shade I got is called Sandstorm. They describe it on the website as a true nude. And this is what it swatches out like. I feel like it's a nude that almost has like a mauve grayish undertone. Unlike the usual nudes that have more of a peachy pink kind of undertone, this is like a grayish mauve undertone. So I think it's very popular shade right now, and I feel like it would look very flattering on most people, so let me swatch it on for me, uh, for you. It gets on the teeth everywhere. So this is what Sandstorm looks like on the lips. I didn't do a great job at the application, but this is what it looks like. It's it's actually very comfortable. To, oh my god, it gets on my teeth. It's actually very comfortable to wear. The application is a bit streaky on this one. I really, really like the color. I don't know if it's gonna be like a super matte. It's actually, I don't even know if these are supposed to be matte. So these are supposed to dry matte. They're supposed to be waterproof and long lasting and everything. It's just that they're, okay, so they're getting more and more dry. And they can't go like this anymore. But they're really, really comfortable. I even feel like the color is buildable on these. So, you do have sort of a plasticky chemical scent. Yeah, so the color is buildable. I feel like it's emphasizing the lines on my lips. Overall, they're really comfortable. At least this one is. So, the next one I got is called Life's a Beach. They describe it as a bright coral, and that's exactly what it is. I'm super excited for summer to wear this one. This is what it looks like on. It has a flat dope with applicator. I feel like with this super bright color, the application is actually, it looks a lot streaker than the nude one. But maybe it's because it's brighter, so it shows more as well. It looks very, very neon. Actually, it looks more neon on the hand than in the tube. So I'm gonna be trying this one on and we'll see how it looks like on the lips. These don't dry that fast, but when they dry, they're dry. Like, they're hard to take off. The application on, these, on this one is very streaky. You can't get an even pigmentation when you swipe once. So this is what Life's a Beach looks like on. This is just one layer and I feel like it's kind of streaky. I'm gonna wait for it to dry just a bit and then see if it applies better with the second layer on. It's like the same color. This is even brighter than a beauty blender. Holy crap. This look, I'm brighter than a beauty blender. <laughs> I don't like this one. So I feel like this one is really neon. The application is not as good as the nude one at all. It's very streaky and even with two layers, I feel like it's accentuating dryness and you can't get an even layer of pigmentation, if you know what I mean. I feel like different colors have different formulations, so you really have to pick and choose which one is going to work for you. Okay, third one and last one that I picked up is called Kitten Heels and it's a brick red color. They describe it on the website as a bright red. I can't tell if it's cool tone or warm, warm tone. This is what it looks like on. The application looks a lot better on this one than the pink one and it swatches out really creamy and really nice. Okay, this is what Kitten Heels looks like on. This is just one layer and the application is a lot smoother than the previous bright coral one. I love this color. I think it's super pigmented, but again, you have to be careful that you're not going to get some on your lips. I'm sorry this application is terrible, but my lips are hurting me. I don't know how some girls do like 10 lip swatches because I'm taking off like so much makeup around my mouth and my mouth area just keeps bleeding and bleeding. So anyways, this is what Kitten Heels looks like on. 
Okay, so that's it for my video. I hope it was helpful for you and that you find a shade that you like. Again, I think these are good for the price. However, I think they're different formulas uh, according to the color and you really have to be careful which shade you choose because the formula is going to be different with each tube. So I give these products a thumbs up. However, this pink one in the middle, I really don't like. So be careful with the formula when you pick them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I wish you all a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye. Uh, do I look like a clown? All right, so this is what... <laughs> I feel like I look like a clown. The lips, the lips. A beach, it's a... I can't talk today.